into personal science academy classes and we are on to question number seven of exercise 5.2 for which we have to differentiate this function with respect to x and let's get started and write it as let's assume this function is y so it's 2 into uh part of x square and differentiating this with respect to x we get so let's assume uh, this as x so we know that at root of x for the differentiation of root of x is 2 root x so we are going to apply this formula on this and which gives us differentiation of y is dy by dx so 2 is constant it's out and its differentiation of now is differentiation of 1 by so 2 is constant it out and we are going to apply the differentiation of cot so it's differentiation of cot x square now differentiation of root of cot x square we are going to use this formula on this so this is 2 into 1 by 2 root x so x is cot x square and because it's not x so we are going to multiply it with the differentiation of cot of x square okay now 2 and 2 gets cancelled and finally we have 1 upon root of cot x square into differentiation of cot is negative cosecant square x square and multiply it with the differentiation of x square because this formula is for x so it's had to has to be multiplied with the differentiation of x square <coughs> so it is differentiation of x square it's x square okay now <coughs> one upon this root means it's uh, in the exponent as half so part is cos x square upon sine x square and both these have power half so I can write them as sine x square raised power half or root and it's negative cosecant is 1 on sine square x square and differentiation of x square is 2x. Now these two have same base so it's 2 minus half so 2 minus half is 3 by 2 so it is now 1 on cos x square raised power half and this is negative 2x at the top and now this is this and this 2 minus half gives us 3 by 2 so i can write it as square 3 by 2 and this further i can write this as cos x square half will remain as it is and for this i can write it as sine q x square raise half sine q means it's three times so this is now cos x square half into so sine cube is i can write it as sine square x square square raised power half into sine half raise, x sine x raised power half so this two and two gets cancelled and finally we have minus two x i can write this in root so this is cos x square under root this is <coughs> this one is also under root so this is sine x square under root and this one is now sine x square so let me multiply and divide this with root 2 so it's root 2 divided by root 2 and multiply and divided by root 2 so it's root cos x square and it's root sine x square into sine x square now <clears throat> we know that root a into root b is root a b and we will use this on this these three terms so it's minus 2x upon under root 2 cos x square into sine x square into sine x square and this is upon root 2 okay so finally we have it's minus 2 root 2 sine x this goes up and this is 2 sine x into cos x so 2 sine x into cos x is 
sine 2x so instead of x we have x square so it's sine 2x square so this is root of sine 2x square and now it's into so i can write it as into sine x square and finally my differentiation is dy upon dx is equal to minus 2 so root x upon this is sine x square and this is under root sine 2x square okay so this is our answer for question number seven do like share and subscribe thank you for watching